What's up, guys? I'm here with Foutech Eliminate, and as you can see, oh, look, new bench right here. But that's going to be for another video. I'm having fun putting it together and uh, having some fun with that. But anyways, uh, I have an order for a macro with a TLR7 sub, so I have it here, and I've already formed the cut because it's vacuum formed, so it's not too bad. But it has an RCS wedge that was asked to be put on it, and if you're not familiar with it, that's the reason why I'm doing this quick little video. This is the RCS wedge. You can find it on knifekits.com. It is a hard molded rubber with texture on it that matches the Kydex and it mounts directly to the RCS mounts. Um, now, pretty much all this is, is it lines up with the claws and it will bolt in like so, like that. And what it does is the purpose of it is, um, it, personally, I think it works better without a flashlight, but if you have a flashlight, it's it's going to be out there. Uh, but anyways, so what's going to go on is this is going to sit just like that, and it's in your pants. So if I have my pants without it, it's going to sit like this, and the controls that are usually right here uh, will cause it to stick out like so with all the blocking. This honestly is a bad example because the, the blocking and the controls on the 365 macro aren't out there at all. But with the controls on this side and it against your body, it's going to be like that. It's going to have a little bit of angle to it. Now with this on, I'm going to hold it in place here. That, instead of doing that, is going to bump that out. So it's going to bump it out here to make it look like you have a bigger package. <laughs> but it's going to lean this in and combined with the claw, it's going to rotate it in. So um, I'm going to throw this together and we'll see what it looks like with and without. So, uh, But it helps with concealment. And it's also, I'm not going to say user friendly. It is definitely uh, a user preference because you, you might like it, you might not. So, um, but and this little guy is uh, $15, I think it was. So they're kind of pricey, 12 or 15 bucks. And and yeah, but it is removable if you don't like it. So that's good. So let's just throw the hardware on and um, show you what it looks like and get it in there. And of course, this is going to be clawed too. Uh, so I already have everything out and it's going to have the loops on it as well. Uh, but let's go ahead and throw this together. Uh, first I'm going to do it without that so you can see uh, how it's concealed on my person uh, without it and then you can see with it and then you can make the determination yourself whether or not you like it. So let's go ahead and get the claw on and this is going to be, oh, those are eighth inch pass throughs. Let's try that again. There we go. And I'll take the claw. And these are three quarter inch. I don't tighten it all the way just yet. Square it up. Then I tighten it. These are quarter inch. And last but not least, these are three sixteenths. And the retention is perfect pretty much when the end of the screw is somewhat flush with the bottom of the threaded post. Which is why I have a specialty screwdriver here. I modified mine. That way I could keep tightening it once the post head comes up. It's going to need to be a little bit tighter. Alright. So let me throw these on. Go from there. Oh, let's do this. So what I do is I'll put the hardware through, and I started at the 175. I very rarely do the two inch. So do that again. Make sure you install them on the same side as the button. And then go ahead and screw them on. 
I wait until they're both on. That way they fit nice and snug against each other instead of overlapping. See, like that. There we go. And I check these. That's good. That's good. So, um, you know, these used to be kind of hard to put on when I first started using them. But you got the clip at the bottom here. That goes in first. And then clip that on. And then same thing, push on the bottom and then snap it off. So let's throw it on here and see how it looks um, without that. And then we'll put it on and see how it looks with it. Here's with the claw, but no wedge. So that's on my person right now. So that's claw and no wedge, as you can see. It doesn't really stick out that much. Um, This is awkward. But anyways, uh, so let's let's put the wedge on and, and do that one. And just note, it's kind of a pain to put it on when, uh, <laughs> when you have sausage fingers. All right, so we'll throw that on there. Because this one is leaving with it. And I believe these are 3 16 screws too with a quarter inch. so bad probably because it's such a small frame okay so now I'll put that in and show you the difference it's gonna it's gonna poke out a lot all right and here it is with the wedge uh, really all you're seeing is the printing on my belt because I have a, a Black Hawk riggers belt um, but there's that it actually it's tighter into my tactical muffin top, so that is that is extremely good. And then right here, it doesn't really. This is where the holster ends, and I gotta tell you, it's actually kind of comfortable. But um, I've never run a wedge. But there we go. So there's that, and then concealed. It's kind of a tight shirt too, but there you are. Yay yay. So uh, all in all, it actually feels really good. Uh, like I said, I never run. Uh, the RCS wedge because I always thought it was too big. Some people will actually take like garage uh, door foam, the uh, sealer at the bottom, the weather stripping that has 3M double sided tape on it. So you can actually stick that to your holster for a makeshift one too to see if you like it or to use it permanently. And instead of spending $15 on just one, you can spend 15 bucks and get like a 30 foot roll. So that's not too bad. But this is. Um, readily available they are side specific with left hand and right hand um, but they are not uh specific to light bearing or non-light bearing and uh honestly feels pretty good and uh, i could you know could probably move it over a little bit so it's kind of in your y because that's where it's more comfortable when you appendix carry but also when you have the claw the claw is designed for appendix carry once you get past the uh either the nine o'clock or the three o'clock it just it doesn't it doesn't feel well because it's not designed to go from there And so that concludes the mounting and the building of that. But yeah, so um, it actually, you know, a lot comfortable than I thought it would be. Like I said, I've always done smaller. I try to make mine uh, to be just a hair taller than the controls, but you see that is pretty massive. And so that's, yeah, that's all she wrote. So this is heading out to Ohio and uh, yeah, should be fun. And stay tuned for the video of the new guy because uh, that's going to be pretty fun. <laughs> It's going to be a big learning experience, and I'm super stoked. Uh, I can't turn it on until I get some extra equipment in, and I decided to do dedicated computer, uh, and so I'm going to be hooking all that up. i got to wire everything and finish assembling, but I can't do it until I modify a couple things. So, um, But stay tuned. I'm going to have a video up on uh, pretty much a time lapse of setting this up, and uh, I'm just going to get back to grinding. So have fun. See you later. Love you. Bye.